What's up guys, Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for Kid PvP. Kid PvP is a feature-rich plugin that adds a fun minigame to your server. Players choose from preset categories and fight against each other to earn points or reputation. This video is going to be about creating kits, abilities and more since we already have a different video which covers this plugin in a more general way. So if you haven't watched that video and want to find out how the plugin generally works, go watch that video that's linked in the description down below. Let's create some kits. First, let's empty our inventory and then collect all the items we want in our kit on us. Keep in mind it remembers items, enchantments, position and more. So wherever you leave something in your inventory is where it'll appear when the kit is grabbed. Slash KP create kit name allows us to create a kit. I'll do slash KP create test. If I do slash KP clear, my inventory is cleaned and I'm given the kit selector and leave item. Heading back into our config folder, let's open menu.yml. This is where we'd add our kit to the menu. Let's scroll down to the bottom and select everything in the example kit. Then we'll paste it so it looks exactly like every other kit. Let's change the example names to the name of our kit, so test. Then we can set an in-game name, item, and slot position. For slot position, simply pick the slot right after the previous numbers. Then we add a permission that players need to view the kit. I'll change the view permission to KP Kit Test. And of course, you can use a different permission for actually getting the kit, but having these both as the same permission means that they can view and grab the kit if they have one permission, a little bit easier to manage. Then we can change the law for when players hover over the item. Different commands can be run depending on how the player is interacting with the item in the menu. Then let's change left click to KP Kit Test and right click to KP Preview Test. Make sure that enabled is true and then the kit will be usable in game. We can add abilities to the kits as well. Each kit by default has a unique ability. A lot of them were covered in our other kit PvP video, but I'll go through a few of them here. The soldier kit has a hoe gun that shoots snowballs. The witch kit has a potion that will randomly refill with random potion effects. The test kit has an emerald item that demonstrates what an ability item can do. It gives an effect, says something in chat, as well as runs a command. The test kit would be a good place to start if you need a reference of what you can do with kits. Opening the kits folder, then opening the YML file that's named after our kit, so test.yml. Under the ability section, we can change the item and name for the item that triggers our ability. Having a unique item for each ability would be useful and easy for players to remember. We can set a message in chat when the ability is used and even set up a sound to play. Then we can set an effect or multiple effects that the player will get when they use the kit. Then you can set commands at the bottom. These can be run from the player or from the console targeting the player. In order for a player to use the ability, they need the item in their inventory first. Under Activator, copy the item and name line. Then under Inventory, we'll add the item in another slot and paste in what we copied. The name and item have to be the exact same for the ability to activate. Heading back into our game, let's reload and test the plugin. Using slash KP Reload and then using the kit selector, our kit is now visible on the screen. Right-clicking the kit shows us a preview and left-clicking gives us the items. We can also remove kits by taking them out of menu.yml and removing the kit file from inside the kits folder. Upon reloading the plugin, the kit will no longer exist. We can grab some custom kits either from the GUI or by using signs which we covered in our other video. After a player grabs the kit, they'll have all the items we defined earlier. If you had any special abilities, they can use them here too. Kits will take a lot of time to create and can be almost anything you can imagine. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!